We cannot be so short-sighted as to thinking silencing speech that we don't like today will not result in our own voices being silenced tomorrow. And the work that you've all been charged with in this committee affects all Americans, and it is too important to allow it to fall victim to partisan politics. No matter how deep your differences, we must all agree to stand on the side of liberty. Unfortunately, right now we live in a country where many Americans are afraid to speak freely, afraid to express themselves, afraid to actually have real open dialogue and debate, afraid of losing their job, being canceled, or being accused of a crime, which could happen if recently introduced legislation criminalizing so-called hate speech is passed into law, speech that, no matter how abhorrent, is still protected under the First Amendment. Now, this fear and this culture of fear and self-censorship is not unfounded. We have individuals in our government often working through their arms in the mainstream media and big tech doing exactly what our founders rejected, trying to control what we, the people, are allowed to see and say under the guise of protecting us from so-called misinformation or disinformation. Now, of course, they appoint themselves as the sole authority and voice of truth of information backed by the most lethal force on earth with the power to target anyone they deem a threat. They alone are the ones, self-designated, who get to decide what is true and what is false, what is information and what is misinformation or disinformation. They say they're doing this for us, that they're doing this for our own good, to protect the people. But in reality, the truth is they think that we're too stupid to think for ourselves, too stupid to discern for ourselves and to draw our own conclusions. Now, the idea that we must just blindly accept whatever the